Today, we're finally fixing something that's been bothering me for way too long. See this? This is my CNC plasma table. Looks fine, right? No. No, it's not. Because I don't have slats. Instead, I've been using wood blocks. You know, because nothing screams high-tech metal cutting like setting steel on some flammable material. These things have been great. If you enjoy inconsistent grounding and unstable material but today that changes we're putting in actual slats like a normal person first though i have to clean out this swamp i live in a swamp so i start by scraping out all of the big chunks and because i'm not a certified underwater welder i have to make sure the pan is dry and for the slats i'm using inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter by eighth inch angle iron I'm going to be cutting that into four separate pieces and then slicing slots into them where the slats will rest. Sounds simple, right? Yeah. Well, let me tell you about the fun part. You see, the slats that I have are made out of 12 gauge steel. That's about 0 0.1046 inches thick, which is very specific and annoying. And the only thing I had to make these slots was an angle grinder with a single cutoff wheel that measured approximately 0 0.045 of an inch, which was not wide enough. So I did what any reasonable person would do. I just added another one. Is this a recommended technique by professionals? No. Do I have a degree in engineering? Yes. Should those two facts be concerning when put together? Probably. But hey, it worked. So you can't argue with that. With the slots cut, I started mocking everything up inside the water pan. And this is where I pretend I have a highly detailed plan when really, I'm just eyeballing it and hoping for the best. So I marked where all the angles needed to be and traced around them with a marker. Then I hit those areas with a wire wheel and flap disc to clean off the paint. Now welding these in place should be easy, but I have to be careful about my heat input. Too much and the pan will start to warp. Frank is always right on the job. Look at him pull. And look at the distortion. So I tacked them carefully, alternating between sides, trying to spread the heat out. And still, it moved but at least it didn't turn into a banana. Now, could I have cut these slats myself? Sure, but I didn't, because I found a local welding shop with a massive shear, and they cut all 13 slats in less than five minutes. Okay, now for the final check. I laid down a piece of some flat-ish steel and ran the torch across each of the four corners. I did this to see how level everything was, and of course, there was some wobble because of the welding, but I had a solution, a very advanced leveling system also known as a wooden shim. Sometimes engineering is just knowing when to stop carrying and let the small stuff slide. With that fix, the torch was about a 32nd to a 16th of an inch between each corner. I call that close enough. My new torch height controller will handle the rest. So problem solved. Finally, I filled the pan back up with water and gave it the test run. And wow. This thing is so much better than using the wood blocks. The material actually sits where it's supposed to, and the grounding works instantly. I don't feel like I'm doing a sketchy science experiment every time I turn the machine on. That's one more thing checked off the list. Time to actually start making stuff again. I'd appreciate a like, comment, or subscription if you guys enjoyed the content. But otherwise, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.